I'll link to another one of my videos at the end to go over more details about the hammer play, but essentially, the hammer play is a drive to the rim that usually goes almost out of bounds to draw on defense, but is actually a misdirection play to get the ball to an open three-point shooter. Boy, this unfolded very well for the Lakers. It's the bronze packing. You see Cleaver come over. This podcast episode audio is no longer available, but I'll link the transcript of this Karan Butler and Kobe Bryant conversation in the description. Karan Butler said, you talk about how efficient LeBron has been on the offensive end and how he's using his IQ to take advantage of every situation. Defensively, if you're going into detail, how do you slow that down? Kobe Bryant said, you gotta stop letting him go left. Every big shot that he makes is going left. He's remarkable at getting to that left hand and being able to raise up and shoot. That's the first thing I would disrupt his ability to go left. It's amazing when you look at it all those shots are coming to either right shoulder from the post or off the dribble from his left hand that's the first thing i would look at if i was guarding him in these playoffs i'd make him do something different besides going to that left as kobe said lebron has historically gone left on his game winners and buzzer beaters goes up in the air he banks the ball and plays it right off the glass another moment indelibly etched in time for the cleveland cavaliers will inbound West plays the inbound. Battier gets it in. Here's James on the drive for the win. The craziest coincidence is this was on May 22, 2013, exactly 10 years ago in the Eastern Conference Finals. LeBron went for the same buzzer on May 22, 2023 against the Nuggets in this year's Western Conference Finals. And you mentioned it, Steve, a chance to get all the way to the basket. And very clearly, this is going to count. Beautiful move from James. Great play drawn up by Eric Spolstra. Now the official word after the... Video replay is checked out. Miami taking game one. What a tremendous opening game of this Eastern Conference Final. Roy Hibbert cannot believe what he has seen. Reeves the inbounder. Reeves holding. James comes out of the pack. James on the drive. Goes inside. Stop. Shot blocked. Gets it back. It's over. Excellent off this pin down and curl. Good reaction by Jamal Murray to attack the penetration get his hands on it and then Gordon comes with the recovery great help there from Murray you know for years the Nuggets oh they were a good offensive team but they weren't good enough defensively that's not the case this year except this time they saw the play coming immediately encountered with a double from Jamal Murray and Aaron Gordon Murray went for a contested strip and Aaron Gordon finished with the block to close out this Western Conference final series Jamal Murray also said he remembered his play and came to help defensively. Can you talk about that last play? What was going through your mind on that last play? Um, I was guarding Rui. He set a screen for Braun. AG chased him. And I just kind of had to be there, um, knowing that help would be behind me. And then um, I kind of caught his drive at the end. I could get the ball, and I just put two hands on it and didn't let him uh, really get off a good shot. And then uh, at the end of the play, I just saw AG was a little late, and I just kind of remember that play in uh, Indiana or against Indiana when he went in for the left-hand layup. So I was I was going to let him have a good angle, at least give AG the time uh, to get back and get a contest. Also keep in mind, the head coach of these Nuggets is Michael Malone, who was the assistant coach of the Cavs for five years during LeBron's early years and so was familiar with this lethal driving, especially on the left side. But the Lakers' current head coach is none other than Darvin Ham, the man the Hammer play was made for and named after. They should have gone with the play that not only won them games in the past, including the play in just this year against the Timberwolves and even a season game a few years ago, a shown earlier. LeBron had run the Hammer play really well and should have gone with this play because it would have went to a wide open three-point shooter that they've trusted in the past like the play-in tournament. If they hit a three, they would have won the game right there. Even if LeBron made this, he was completely tired and they'd have to go into overtime against a much younger Nuggets team. Even if the three didn't go in, they'd have LeBron in the pain from this play to try to rebound and score a quick two to tie the game. One reason Ham may have gone with the LeBron game-winning drive to the left was it has historically worked for LeBron, but maybe their logic was that they would rather have the game be decided win or lose by LeBron's 
fans. If someone else misses a shot that eliminates them, LeBron may be extremely upset and lose motivation to return next season to the Lakers as we saw after the J.R. Smith incident in the 2018 NBA Finals where the Cavs then got swept and LeBron left the Cavs right after. Nonetheless, Lakers know LeBron got them to that point in that game and played really well this series so it should come down to LeBron to the very end. But the final play should also be questioned especially why Davis is all the way at the top 3 doing nothing. He should at least be in the paint or setting a screen in case they miss a 3 if they went for that hammer play or in this LeBron miss they should have had Davis at least rebound for LeBron or gone for a pick and roll or set a pick for LeBron. Davis doing absolutely nothing in the final possession was really inexplicable and cost him the game and the series with it. Check out my other video breaking down the hammer play and how the Lakers had countered this exact play to beat the Warriors late in game 4 and ultimately win that series.